welcome to Talking Scotch with me, Pierre Mankies. In one of our most recent episodes, we spoke about the different regions of Scotland. And just to remind you, there are five whiskey producing regions in Scotland. The Lowlands, the Highlands, Speyside, Campbelltown and Isla. And if you recall, the first one we, we spoke about was the Lowlands. We spoke about Ochentoshen. We spoke about how soft and gentle, sweet and how delicious that whiskey actually is. Perfect whiskey for an entry level if you're starting to drink whiskey for the first time. Today we're moving up north and we're moving up into the Highlands. And the whiskey we're going to be looking at is this fantastic product called Dalmore. Now, first of all, for any of you who know anything about your whiskey, and you'll know who the master blender is at Dalmore, you'll know it's a fantastic personality, Richard Patterson, who's world famous not only for his master blending and distilling, but also his presentations on how to take, taste whiskey and how to really make it enjoyable. So what we've got here is Dalmore, which is the Dalmore 12 year old. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to pour some of this whiskey into a tasting glass. And whilst this is the whiskey we've chosen to represent the Highlands, remember that all the different single malts from the different regions do vary. And of course, that's what the master blenders are trying to achieve. So whilst there's a certain amount of pattern that runs through the various regions, they're all different. So generally speaking, a Highland single malt is big and robust, full, uh, and let's see if Dalmore stands up to that. So I've poured something to the glass, as you can see, give it a little swirl, beautiful legs on this, beautiful dark color. That color is giving me some indication of what's going on in the bottle to start off with. On the nose, full flavored. Complex, there's no question about that. And I know that because the makeup of this particular whiskey is also, is well, as in many cases, a combination of bourbon and sherry casks. There's one big difference here. What Richard has done is he takes the new make spirit, puts it into bourbon casks for at least nine years. Thereafter, he cleverly and very carefully divides the whiskey into half, puts half of them back again into those same bourbon casks, takes the other half and puts them into Oloroso casks for a further three years. The other whiskey then starts, carries on maturing in those nine-year-olds. Eventually everything gets to 12 years old and older, of course. That's how you get to your 12-year-old whiskey. But then what he does is he takes that those whiskies, and as I said, the harmonizing, where he puts them back together in sherry casks to eventually deliver this beautiful full flavor that we're talking about. And there's no question, the sherry casks come through here, the color of the sherry cask. In fact, I believe it's harmonized in Oloroso sherry casks that are in excess of 30 years old. The nose is just delicious, absolutely delicious. Again, a drop of water to open up the whiskey, to release the serpent, as we say. Citrus notes, no question about that. Spices come through big. A little bit of chocolate, dark chocolate. On the palate, The zest of citrus, sherry, this is so smooth, so sweet, vanilla flavors coming through. And when we talk sweetness in whiskey terms, we're not talking about milk chocolate sweet here or Coca-Cola sweet. There's a honeycomb kind of sweetness. And it's almost in the back of your head, for me anyway. Absolutely delicious. Another little sip. And the finish is long chocolate. I love chocolate, dark chocolate. I can actually taste that dark chocolate 
roasted coffee beans, those sort of flavors are coming through. So whilst this Del Mall is a highland by every definition of the word, it is so special. It is just absolutely delicious and really, really worth going out and trying it. It's the Dalmore 12 year old. Remember, it's been in bourbon casks and sherry casks. It is superb. As we say in Scotland, thanks for watching and Slangevar.